Hi, this is Frank and welcome to the channel. Today I will share with you one of my friend's GoBox, which has an IC705 installed with an ingenious method that allows easy removal from the GoBox and a few other interesting components. The IC705 is installed on a tilting mount, allowing for comfortable operation and rating. The mount itself is installed on rails, so we can bring the radio forward and backward and can also lock it for transport. We can easily remove the radio from the go box by disconnecting the cables, unscrewing the base and be ready to go backpacking and operate as a portable. The radio is connected to a RM Italy MLA100 HF amplifier which provides 100 watts on HF. Even though the specifications say that the input power must be between 1 and 5 watts, we tested the maximum power from the IC705 at 10 watts, and the amplifier provided 130 watts output. So there is a tolerance factor, which is good in case we forget to bring down the power on the IC705. There is also a build-it-yourself remote antenna switcher, which allows to use two HF antennas, for example a NFED antenna and a vertical antenna, and be able to quickly switch between them at the flick of a switch. This comes handy when you want to compare signals or antennas. The IC705 has a single antenna connector, so in order to use VHF UHF as well, he installed a Comet CF530, a HF VHF UHF duplexer. This allows to use the single antenna connector on the IC705 and split the HF to one antenna and the VHF UHF to another antenna without having to disconnect reconnect any cables. The Go Box contains a MFJ849 digital SWR watt meter that covers HF and VHF UHF with a very easy to read display. The antenna tuner is a LDG Z11 Pro. The power supply is a repurposed Yaesu FP30B which was made for the FT897. The front panel is a 3D printed and custom fit for the required switches. Here is the diagram of the go box. You may want to pause the video if you want to see more details. If you have a POV mount, it could also be used if you allow sufficient room around the radio in your go box. In this specific case, we could not fit it in there. Overall, this is a very functional and unique go box that covers many bands with a single radio. 100 watts on HF, 10 watts on VHF UHF, and maybe later add a 50 watts VHF UHF amplifier. The versatility of the radio mount, the rails, and the ability to quickly remove the radio from the go box is a great idea. Thank you very much for the contact. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Got you up there. Quebec. Have a good evening, This go box is the fourth version. It initially started with an IC7200, a 7000, a 7300, and now an IC705. Building a go box is sometimes an ongoing project. Adding and replacing parts and accessories as new ideas come in and budget allows it. I hope this video gave you some ideas for your GoBox. If you have comments, suggestions, leave them down below. If you liked this video, click the like button. This is Frank signing out and thanks for watching 73.